Hi, I'm Julian. Hi, I'm Alice, and we're from Investor Crowd. Our mission at Investor Crowd is to unlock real estate investment opportunities. This is our weekly wrap up of all things crowdfunding. We talk about companies, deals, projects, and regulations with a global perspective and a big focus on Asia. The most interesting story that I found last week was a campaign launched by a 26 year old US military veteran on a website called Crowdpack. Crowdpack is a political uh, crowdfunding campaign website. It was immediately backed by celebrity uh, entrepreneur and the co-founder of LinkedIn, Reid Hoffman, who pledged $5 million to this campaign. And the actual purpose of the campaign was to see if they could get Donald Trump to release his taxes with all of the circus that's going on in the current political campaigns in America. So that was very, very interesting. So there you have it, all the different forms of using crowdfunding. Um, but let's move back to the investment side of crowdfunding. And I thought it'd be a good idea to talk a little bit about specifically real estate crowdfunding. Well, that brings me to tell everyone about the very, very first real estate crowdfunding project under the new concept of using online websites to gather multiple people into investments. Two young developers based out of Washington, D.C. launched uh, the very first campaign on a company called Fundrise, and they saw a dilapidated building in their local community. They, want, they thought it would be uh, a good idea if the community could invest into this project and turn this defunct building into an income generating, tax paying, job giving real estate product. So the legend has it that they spent multiple times the investment amount on legal fees just to get the project through legitimately and that is the story of the first real estate crowdfunding uh, project to date. But let's, let's talk a little bit about the actual investment itself. So to do a real estate investment, there's several things to consider. Uh, the type of the underlying asset, it could either be a residential fix and flip, or it could be a commercial project, much larger scale, and that could involve multifamily office, uh, office build, multifamily uh, office, uh, industrial, hospitality, and you have to also understand the structure of the investment product. So whether it's a debt or a equity. And within that, uh, there is senior debt, there is mezzanine debt, and within equity, there is preferred equity and common equity. So there are many aspects of a real estate you know, transaction that you actually have to look into. That's true. And so to simplify that, what, what I like is that investors can now go onto these platforms you can choose projects that match your risk reward profile. So if you want to invest for one year, six months, 12 months, 24 months, or for five to 10 years, there are different projects offering those time lengths. And with each of these projects comes a different reward profile. So a lot of the short-term debt projects might be between 10 and 20%. You might be able to get an interest payment on a monthly basis with your principal coming back within a period as short as six or 12 months. And then there are other investment projects where you take an equity stake in the development of a project or in a portfolio of income producing assets, but the whole period for those are generally between five and seven years. So I like the concept that you can now put some money into short term debt paying projects and you can put other money into much higher return projects, but then you have to wait a much longer period of time. But all of this now offers investors diversification and choice like they have never had it before. Yeah. That wraps it up for us this week. If you're interested in real estate crowdfunding, please sign up at investorcrowd.com. And please keep your comments and questions rolling in about anything that we've discussed on the program or anything you'd like to hear about or any funny or advice, other advice you have about director's input for future filming. And if you're already an Investor Crowd member, please continue watching for members only content. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everybody, welcome to the members only content. Uh, this week we have a very interesting offering. It is being listed by a real estate company in Sydney that has a 25 year track record, unblemished. They currently manage $700 million worth of real estate assets. And the offering this week is the acquisition, the ability for investors to take an equity 
position in the acquisition of an income producing office building. The building itself is located in Sydney. It has a fully tenanted out, fully leased out. The uh, tenants leases run for another seven years. And the offering for the investors are that you will achieve an 8% cash yield each year with a projected sale of the building in seven years time uh, with a projected 12% uh, IRR over the period of that investment. Previously, most of our projects have had higher returns numerically, but they've also come with a form of development uh, risk associated with that. With this instance, the building is already built and it already has tenants, so investors will be receiving their first interest payments uh, the first quarter after, they, after the building is acquired. For more information, please contact Investor Relations. Thank you.